the energy vibration legs in oh sorry for um the cancer sun moon and rising sign i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for this wonderful positive energies i want to say to each and every person out there this is um the last week of april the week begins from 23rd until the 29th and I want to say thank you for your likes, shares, and support, and so on. Okay, so let's see what is happening for you guys on Monday. A successful win, okay? A victory that is coming in, and a victory over the Prince of Wands. So some of you um, Cancers are going to have a victory over the Prince of Wands, and this is someone who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius between the ages of 25 and 45 so you're going to have a successful win over this person Wednesday you have the energy of the six of cups this is someone who you have known from the past this can be a friend or a brother or a sister or a relative or someone who came back it doesn't have to be a friend because um, most of the people that you um, ha have to deal with these karmatic situation is comes as just people who you have no idea who they are and you know so it can you know it can be a family situation but it can be also people who came in your life and um, you know try to do you something um, then you have the energy of the seven of wands the seven of wands is that you're protecting yourself from this person and what I'm what I'm feeling is that um, or you're going in war with this person because it's not really um, a success they're saying this what they're saying is that it is as if it, you're going in war with this person because the seven of ones comes up and this is it with the especially with a chariot you have to see where the chariot where, what position the chariot as in a reading because then it will tell you exactly what is happening so you're going in war with the prince of one the princess so the prince of one is a Aries Leo or a Sagittarius and this is someone you have known from past lifetime because um, and, um, and this person you're trying to protect your per yourself from this person what I'm feeling is that this is someone who you have done business with for some of you some some this could be a family member a brother a sister um, a father someone and um, this card deck is um, it shows up who they are basically some card decks doesn't do that but this card decks is, has this powerful energy honestly you have the energy of the hangman and um, it's as if in the beginning of the week and especially on Friday you're having a thing so it says uh, just um, let me just be quiet and listen to what he's saying it's as if you are trying to regain yourself it's as if this person has been telling you what to do this person has been advising you what to do and now you're looking at the situation and you're thinking mm, I don't know I, I don't know if you have been advising me really you know it's as if that and it's about some of you are missing your soulmate it's as if some of you have a brother because this is a family situation whoever um, the prince of ones is it could be a brother or a friend someone who is very close to you I have been telling you to let go of a relationship okay or telling you that your marriage is good but you are not feeling that you are missing your soulmate It's as if your soulmate is someone different than who you're married to or who you're in a relationship with you are actually missing this person you have been thinking about this person you have been realizing that you have, have you are actually missing this person but it's as if your brother has been saying no let go of that person and it's as if some of you are in love with someone someone different than your um, partner 
um, and you are missing this person but it's as if um, you're hurting from within because it's as if your brother or someone very close to you someone who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius or have these energies or saying to you it's better that you stay with your wife it's better that you leave that person alone but whoever they're saying to leave alone you have the strong connection you're in love with this person not as not like you're in love with your wife or the relationship that you're in and out comes the four of cups you have some regrets that you listen so this is it now I understand the chariot and the seven of ones the the chariot and the seven and the chariot um you know I listen to a lot of people do readings some of them I just turn them off <laughs> um, I'm sorry but some of them I'm like okay Queen of sword you have a situation to deal with the Queen of sword okay the, the energy of the Queen of sword um, it's as if some of you have this could be um, a sister but it could be someone who you know and it's as if you have a relationship or a fling with her daughter okay because it's as if you want to end this and you're trapped because it's as if um, you realize that I am in love with someone else and it's as if you're in love with this person but you're trapped because this person is as if because the energy of the Queen of Swords is someone who is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Sagittarius and trust me this is the energy of a woman so some of you are really going to be having this out with this woman and this woman is very very aggressive she's extremely aggressive because here you are thinking I've been listening to my friend or my brother whoever this person is because it's a is you can see that it's a family member and you're gonna stop listening to him you're gonna think okay let me um, say what you have to say because you have realized that he doesn't understand how you feel about this young lady um, and 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 this is someone who is a, a, a Pisces cancer a scorpion it's as if he's not aware how you feel about this young lady it's not your daughter it is a relationship that you're in it could be also your daughter but um, it's as if you're not happy with the mother but you can't take the child so let's look and see what is happening the energy of the chariot and you're seeing the situation clearly so now what is happening is that you're seeing a situation clearly that your brother or whoever this um this prince of ones has been um telling you things and you're realizing that mm -mm, no something is a rare it's all about money you're seeing that this relationship this connection is all about money you're seeing that whoever this knight of ones is is all about money and you are looking at you know let's see what this who is this person um, you have the nine of ones you're trying to protect yourself actually this is a family situation this is like a brother who has been he thinks he's trying to protect you from this extra military affair and telling you to let it go to turn your back on it because this is exactly what is happening it's as if you're you're married or you're in a long-term relationship but you have met someone um, and it can be that you're in a relationship with um, but it's not working out and you wish you could take your child and leave because you're thinking about leaving the situation behind and um, it's as if your brother is saying or whoever this person is that is very close to you because it's someone who comes from a past life and it's as if he's saying leave 
the situation alone and you're thinking I want to leave my marriage I'm missing this person I want to be with that person so let's see what is going to be coming out um, a new offer is going to be coming in from um, this young lady because it's as if you're missing this young lady you have ended and you you are going to be going back to connect with this young lady so um, you're going to start up this new thing and it's as if your brother is saying no leave it alone you know it's not the right thing to do your marriage don't leave your marriage and it's as if you want to leave your marriage yes there's a lot of conflicts there's a lot of conflicts and it's as if um, you're not happy in your marriage you're trying to protect yourself this is a situation that you have gotten yourself in and um, you're having so many regrets there's a lot of conflicts okay there's a lot of conflicts and a lot of regrets that is coming up let's see what is happening with the angman and the lovers because you're not really happy in your marriage okay okay so let's see what other message have to come out with the lovers and the four of cups the energy of the lovers and the four of cups an end okay an end okay now um, I'm seeing this um, okay you some of you that is has been in a love triangle okay and um, some of you are wishing you weren't in your marriage some of you are wishing um, you weren't married because um, it's as if um, you were in a relationship you were married but you were in a relationship with the Queen with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn okay what has transpired is that you are in love with this person and not in love this person is your soulmate because you have been thinking about this person money you have let money come between you and this person okay um it's as if because of money you're seeing the situation because money came between you and this person because obviously you are or were seeing someone out of your marriage okay money came between you and this person you have been trying to deal with the situation because you're you're in love with this person and you you, you know you're aware that this person is your soulmate but you are already in a relationship now this marriage you know you want to leave this marriage behind but you're whoever this person if your friend your brother or whoever this person is is saying to you don't leave it and all that is within you is that I want to leave it because I am in love with you know two other persons because I'm seeing um, a situation here that you have started something else with someone who was younger and whoever this person is their mother is the um, is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra and it's as if their mother is coming to you and saying you know why have you ended the relationship with my daughter and that sort of a thing and now you are having regrets you're having regrets because of your brother had advised you to go with this person and leave the the um the earth sign person the Taurus the Virgo or a Capricorn and now you're seeing that you have made a very big mistake because here is the mother of this child coming to say you know why haven't you there and she needs this and she needs that and you're thinking it's all about money why did I ever start with them I should not have start with them I shouldn't have gotten involved with them and you're having some regrets here 
um, the six the, you're having some regrets here you need to leave you, you're hoping to leave the situation behind because you're trying to protect yourself from this young lady this minaret and uh, um, you're trying to really protect yourself in the situation but it's as if your brother or whoever the person is has talked you in to leave in the the Queen of Pentacles and this person whether a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn she is the love of your life she is the one that you want to be with but you have gotten yourself in some mess and this person decide to end it and turn their backs on you and move on and here you are very unhappy in your marriage because um, you want to have a new start with this um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person but because you have um, used money money is the, the the purpose why they have remove themselves away from you it's because you have bring money in a relationship money in you know you have asked them for money or something with money and that is one of the things and that is what people do not understand with earth sign people if you ask if they give you it is okay don't ask them okay because that turns them off so if you're in a relationship with a hurt sign person and they tend to give you it's okay but when you're going to ask them they feel turn off because they feel as if is it all about the money or is it all about what we have especially if you're if you're not in um, if it, especially if you're not living together if you're living together and, they, and then you ask them it's okay but if you're in um, you know like an a fling a real you know and then you ask them they're going to think oh it's so it's all about the money boom and that's so earth sign people or and this is what has happened between you and this person is because um, you realize it's because you ask this person about money you let money interfere with what you had with that person and that person have turned their backs okay and then you but um, begin a relationship with a younger person a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and this little girl mother is an Aries and she's or you know or it doesn't have to be an Aquarius or a Gemini or a um, Libran but this person mother is like hey what happened why don't you come by you know and you realize that they trapped you for the money and you're having regrets because you want to hand this because you finally see and you're trying to protect yourself from this young person because there's a lot of um, conflicts um, that has been happening there's a lot of conflicts that has been happening with you and this person so I'm wishing you the best to come out of this and remain positive whatever it has remain positive because um, you need to remain positive because whatever is transpiring here is not very healthy. And now I stay until next week.